Royal Street Band. My aura bright like the morning star, moving fast like the shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. If this ain't no act, I can't play your part. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like a shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. Cause this ain't no act, I can't play your part. Doctor's vibrating higher. I got the heat, I'm on fire. The Empress of the Empire. Goddess of desire. Welcome Leos, this is the Empress. I'm happy to be back with you guys. I missed you guys so, 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 so much. Let's hop right into November, all right? So I'm trying to pick up on you guys' last reading. I think you guys' last reading, there was something about a warning, okay? A warning of destruction or something was, you know, just, just not too right, okay? So let's see if we can get some better energy for the month of November. All right, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe, okay? Um, as well, if these messages do resonate, um, don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and your friends, okay? Um, these messages are general reads. So this message can be your energy, your partner's energy, someone around you's energy. There could be two or three different storylines. Um, just take what applies and what does not apply. Just let it fly, okay? So let's see what messages are there for my Leos, okay? For the month of November. What messages are there for Leos? So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the hangman. All right, so things could be on hold or you can feel like something is on hold. Maybe you have been feeling as if you made some type of sacrifice um, and things aren't moving as you would like them to go. There's something could possibly be at a standstill. Yeah, we have some changes. Maybe you're waiting for something to change or something to go in your favor or you're waiting for... Um, you know, just on something different, okay? Yeah, you're waiting. You're being patient. You've been patiently waiting for something or someone to make some type of changes. All right, so let's see what's going on. I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with a of um libra gemini or aquarius okay or the energy that this person would carry would be very stern um very hard to kind of uh pick emotionally this person also speaks his truth very bluntly okay they're most definitely not playing any games okay so this person could come off kind of as rude or cold or just too blunt um but i feel like this could even be a boss this could be a lawyer this could be someone of authority okay i got you guys this challenge being the knight of wands okay something being temporary or some forward or back movement okay so maybe you want to go back to something or you want something to come back to you um and someone is being cold okay you could be watching someone or someone could be watching you okay something ended here there's most definitely an ending okay whatever this is it's over okay we got the ten of swords so there either was a betrayal of some sort or there was a ending a complete ending okay some of you guys may have been seeing the number 9994 for a cycle that has completed, okay? How others are viewing you is the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy, but this is someone who's very well off financially, okay? Focused on their finances and, you know, their career. We have the Hermit card. Some of you guys are most definitely dealing with a Virgo. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So this could be work-related, okay? You could be um, 
this could most definitely be be work related okay you could be working on something okay we have someone here that is very irrational um maybe you want to be irrational with this person okay you want to tell your speak your truth you want to come off as cold towards this person but i feel like some of you guys may be holding back from doing that okay there's something that you possibly saw okay you possibly have been getting all your information together gathering all of your information and you could be watching an earth sign okay virgo taurus cap i'm sorry this is capricorn's energy okay but you could have your eyes on someone watching their moves okay peeping out the scene and now you're waiting okay you're waiting you're waiting for something okay you want this person to give you a second chance or vice versa we got the judgment card here and the six of pentacles okay so you want a final decision or you want a second chance and i'm picking up on you want somebody to return to you or you want to return to somebody else okay i feel like yeah you feel as if this person dropped you okay has ended things and then left you out in the cold you feel left out okay you feel throw i'm just getting thrown away put to the side and disposed of and i feel like you're pissed about it okay how they view you we got the emperor so they look at you very much so as possibly controlling okay bossy i'm picking up bossy they may feel like you're very bossy um, and you're coming off as, you know, I'm getting like this is all that energy. And, you know, that's common for Leos because everybody thinks that Leos thinks that they're better. Um, but in the most times you guys just are, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, if they can't get with it, then whatever. All right. I see with this Hermit card, there could be a Virgo involved. But I feel like you are hoping to take some time off, okay? Maybe you feel like you um, need to grow, okay? Maybe you need to, um, maybe there's a mother or another female involved. But I feel like you feel as if, there could most definitely be third party energy here. But I feel like you are focusing on you're t putting your attention from off of this situation and you're putting your focus on work okay you're focused on work Ooh, you want to rush towards this person but i don't feel like it's in a nice way i feel like you've been investigating you've been watching this person um possibly social media and you're you you're waiting to see how they're going to move or if they've moved on i feel like you do want a second chance with this person um but maybe they have been rejecting your phone calls or haven't reached out to you or cut you off um cut communication off with you they most definitely feel like you're bossy okay they most definitely feel like you're being bossy um I feel like you're focused on work, okay? I feel like you're put together regardless. We got you here being single and independent and possibly doing the inner work and working on yourself, okay? So we have the three of pentacles, which is building, which is working towards something. This could actually be a work situation, okay? And then we have that nine of pentacles where you're focused on yourself. You're zoomed in on yourself. Your finances are, are looking good. You're taking care of yourself. Um, you're, you know, whether it be makeup, hair, nails, you're doing the inner work. You're, you know, self-love, okay? You're loving yourself. Maybe you feel like this person was holding you up or holding you back, okay? I don't think that you should wait for this person. I most definitely feel like you should most definitely move forward. This could be someone that you are you know at a distance this person could be at a distance from you okay so that doesn't mean that you have to dumb yourself down to make someone feel better if they don't get it then it's not your problem 
All right, so let's see. I want the first card to be how you feel about how you feel about them. And the second card is going to be how they feel about you. And the third card is going to be what course of action are they going to take towards you? First card is how they, how does the Leo feel? I feel like this is most definitely about a connection that you have. Someone could possibly have been juggling, okay? And maybe you feel like this person um, purposely tried to hurt you, okay? It's like they did it on purpose, okay? So let's see. How do... How does the Libra feel? I'm sorry, Libra, not Libra, Leo. How does the Leo feel about them? And how does they feel about the Leo? And what course of action are they going to take towards Leo? Most definitely someone is spying. Could be possibly, I'm definitely picking up on a Capricorn. And I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy as well. All right. Someone um, spoke some type of truth. Definitely Capricorn. I'm picking up Capricorn for you guys. Someone, possibly a Capricorn, or someone took a long time to finally tell the truth. Okay. Um, and you've been investigating or watching this person. And it's like the truth finally came out. Okay. You feel left out in the cold by this person. This card came out once again, five of pentacles. You feel as if this person rejected you or left you out in the cold, okay? How they feel about you. We got king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so they, you could be dealing with an earth sign, um, but this person is possibly very goal-oriented, is focused on the money, okay? Is looking at this situation in a beneficial situation, the action that they're going to be taking towards you is the Hierophant. Okay, so Taurus is energy. I feel like somebody is rejecting calls. This person is being very cold, okay? We got the King of Swords, okay? This person may act as if they don't care. They may be coming off as, you know, bluntly, um, with blunt communication, Okay, and the action that they're going to be taking towards you, they are deciding to, the best thing for them to do is for them to move on, okay? I feel like they could possibly already be in some type of commitment here with the Hierophant, and I feel like they're going to decide to move on, okay? Or put some distance between you two. I feel like they're looking back at the situation um, they made some type of mistakes or they're feeling, you know, like they missed the opportunity with you because they're looking back at the situation with regrets. But they're they're cautiously they're looking back, but they're there's possibly a thing about trust here because you got the nine of wands. Okay, so their guard is up, but they're continuing to move on, okay? I feel like this is a chapter that needed to be closed. And I feel like this person is looking back at this situation with regrets, okay? They regret it, but they had to make a final decision about this, okay? And I feel like the, the decision that they decided to make, they're looking at you as a past lover, okay? Or they're looking back to the past, okay? I feel like they've moved they're moved they've moved on or they're moving on and they could be returning to a past lover is what i'm getting as well okay all right so this energy kind of is playing off of the energy from last month's reading guys okay So it looks like this phase is finally fizzling out. Let's see what other messages we have for um, Leos. What messages are there for Leos? Oh, okay. 
We have romantic feelings. All right. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you really have feelings and emotions for this person. What are the messages are there for Leo's? Ooh. All right. We have religious factors. Okay. So your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Okay. So I feel like also this situation was unrequited. There may have been an imbalance. Um, I don't keep picking up on Capricorn. We got codependency here. Someone could have addictions or, you know, they are codependent to, on you, toward, towards you, possibly like for financial reasons, for money, or for, you know, whatever the reason it may be, someone was codependent. I feel like... You decided to give this relationship a chance, but there could have been something that this person is just not equally yoked with you, okay? The situation is un unbalanced and it's unrequited, okay? You, I feel like you aren't going to get what you deserve or what um, is best for you from this relationship, okay? This situation could even be a um, karmic situation, all right? So we're going to put one more card for Leo. All right, we have attraction, okay? So for future energy, we have attraction. And then we have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. So this person may try to come back around to you because there still is an attraction to this person. Or this could be you trying to return back to this person, okay? But just, just to keep in mind, okay, I feel like for some of you guys, um, you're going to want some type of level up, okay? You're going to want this person to be... Um, leveled up in love or give you some type of commitment or move something forward but for a lot of you guys i feel like once you release this person from your life you're going to have a new love come in okay and this new love is going to be so amazing and this is going to bring you a fresh new energy okay so we have free yourself as well so taking back control of your life so i feel like once you decide to take back control of your life you are going to have new love come in for you all right this person could possibly um could be way better than the person that you just got out of the situation with but once you start to move on then here we go this person from the past wants to come back around to you okay so keep that in mind leos i don't want you guys to get discouraged in love i want you guys to keep pressing ahead keep moving forward um keep in mind as well guys we are in mercury retrograde phase so exes are going to be returning you're going to be reviewing looking at things from the past make sure that you're looking at the things that you possibly could have done wrong so you won't take those and those same mistakes into something new because i do feel like new love is on the horizon for you guys okay all right thank you guys so much for tuning in with me if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the empress that information should come across the screen somewhere or it'll be in the drop box below okay all right my loves until next time ciao for now